what's good y'all episode 45 it's michael jordan's comeback number <laughs> out of retirement man <laughs> yeah man That's so <laughs> what fun fact you know you know what's crazy um when euphoria dropped yesterday uh-huh and then people would just be making like the biggest stretch about like references inside the fucking thing yeah like they there's just, a whole twitter thread bro, about it. it's wild they were like they were like picking out letters saying like oh they they found like uh what's that girl's name from stranger things Something which one millie brown millie bobby yeah, brown. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, were, they were like connecting like shit on i was like dude, you never know there might there's levels guess, to this there's I levels guess. to this and it's then Kendrick, right? the day that we're recording this uh he dropped the second one yeah. the 616 in L- la you know who didn't drop Oh, uh, vultures too. <laughs> Are you sad? Yeah, dude, I'm out this point. Oh, you know what? You know what album just dropped though? Four bats. What's that? You know that singer? He's a uh, hella hood, but he has a high pitched voice. He got signed to OVO. Oh no! I, I, when you signed on uh, APM. Oh, uh, I one? thought you meant you know Miles. No, 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 no. <laughs> Four bats. Four bats dropped now. Uh, it's pretty good. It's only thirty minutes. I like. It. And there's a, a remix with Kanye. And I think that uh, that verse is towards Kim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what's good, everybody? A- again, episode 45 of Short King's Talk. We are your hosts with the most, Sid and Kelvin. How you feeling? Depressed. Why? There's no vultures too, man. Oh. <laughs> or Drake. Besides that. I was that, waiting for Drake. <laughs> besides that, how are you feeling? Oh, man. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. There All we right. go. There no, you go. It's a no, Friday no, for I'm us. I'm hurting, man. I'm hurting. There's no vultures too. It's a Friday for <laughs> it's us, Friday. so it's feeling good. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on all social media platforms at Short Kings Talk Everything. Links are in the description below. Then follow us on our personal Instagrams. Mine is Sid the Chad. Kelvin is Dr. Six Pop. Man, we're still growing out here. We're still pushing out the content. New episodes every single Wednesday, if you didn't know. And we got you know, more subs this week than yeah, any other yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, last week, too. Yeah. So I think the, the Asian hate stuff is pretty good. And then uh Lifting. talking about fit, fitness stuff yeah. uh has been getting good engagement yeah. too and then obviously like talking about the big three yeah it's it's yeah, another yeah, big yeah. thing too so yeah man keep keep engaged uh, you know just like comment you know it doesn't have to pertain to the <laughs> subject of the clip <laughs> yeah. but just just tell us like your your favorite I'm fucking fit. i'm fucking getting dragged bro they're like drake <laughs> drake as the big three i uh, I, I get the drake yeah. i think people just because he's too like pop i guess you know and he's getting I, flamed by kendrick right now i he's a i think he's a rapper maybe not but entertainer wise like an artist really drake i think as a rapper I'll no, give I, him I, I think like people think like when drake is like top whatever right they're mm-hmm. like he's not the best rapper but oh. you can't you can't argue he's not yeah. a good artist maybe yeah yeah maybe because yeah. like he he didn't come from the trenches or because his name's aubrey he's from yeah. canada yeah maybe because <laughs> Like his subject matter isn't about like the struggle or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah he already yeah came up. I just with know Drake. You could you know that's like you could slap club, that. Yeah, you could slap yeah. that and this club music. Yeah, that's all. I like Drake. It's for everyone. Yeah, so it. it's good. Yeah. Surrounded by Filipinos, I think of the worst case. <laughs> that's like the first Drake song I heard. It's a song called Closer. Everyone should listen to it. Yeah, that's his line. I was like, oh dang, because one of his BFFs is Filipino. Yeah, he's part of he's part of the crew. Yeah yeah it's the nas it's one that i was like that that threw me off when you said I like nas, nas dude. but no, like i like nas too but when you said as a battle rapper i was like dang I, I have got, you never listened to his battle raps no, no? so oh, i tried looking go. at yeah. looking it up i couldn't find anything i'll on. send you some yeah, yeah send me some i want to see like him like actually like versus someone yeah, i'm like yeah, oh yeah. it must be good it must be good all right, all right what you want to talk about today we're gonna talk, talk about <laughs> the victory <laughs> again oh, <laughs> we could talk no, about the beast no, someone <laughs> someone's waiting for it someone's waiting for what yeah you're a disciple he was like oh when are you guys dropping part two and i was just like oh i just put that on there <laughs> oh i mean we could talk about in the in the in the future in the future yeah if you want us to talk about more about the big three squad bench deadlift you know just let us know yeah. or anything you know if you want <laughs> us to talk about something please let us know yeah please. yeah uh, no one has given us the feedback but if you want us to talk about it, we'll talk about it yeah because yeah. yeah. some of my friends are like dang like you're pretty uh unfiltered on there i'm like really like yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like know. You, I, I feel guess like you're pretty filtered. You always censor the the risque stuff. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but at the same time, yeah. you know, I I think you know, just voicing our opinions isn't yeah. too risque in yeah. general. No, yeah, we're, not like, we're yeah. just saying what yeah. we we think. Not, yeah. not that racist. Yeah, we're just talking. We're just yeah. shooting the shit. That's yeah. it. But what do you want to talk about? We're gonna talk about meaning, finding meaning. In Whoa. Life. Yeah. Okay. 
Cause, okay. Because I I'm lost, man. Without vultures, I'm, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> why. No, I'm just kidding. No, Wait, but like, did but, you feel found when vultures won? No, then? no. But the reason why is um, it was the NBA playoffs. Okay. Right? And then I know a lot of people that are in severe depression right now because their team didn't make it. Like, right? oh, Warriors. Uh, well, Warriors got knocked out a while ago. Lakers, yeah. Lakers are gone. Um, Lakers much, are gone. Yeah, yeah. The Suns, like pretty much all of the modern day greats. The, uh-huh. like Steph Curry Kevin Durant I don't know you don't follow basketball like all the really I kind of do all, just cause like yeah, friends all the, and like, like the superstars in the last 10 years for the first time ever they're all gone like they didn't mm. make the second round of the playoffs yeah yeah they're, yeah they're getting older right you, yeah. you guys are getting there but anyways not basketball related but a lot of people are I guess they have this sports fanaticism yeah right where it kind of defines who they are right yeah they attribute meaning to yeah yeah to stuff like they're that they're very devout right uh, and yeah. I'm I'm personally not that much of a you know mm-hmm. like i i like watching sports but not to the point where if my favorite team loses i'll be yeah. like depressed for the whole week i'm like, the same way i like watching sports because yeah. i i can enjoy a game yeah but i don't have any ties to any team right. that i don't i can't claim. i'm also older yeah. so i feel like i can't claim anything now because it'll be deemed bandwagon <laughs> oh. that's how i feel <laughs> yeah 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 because if i want to like go norcal roots and claim the warriors yeah. that's automatic bandwagoning because of steph curry yeah. well they're asking now so you do it I, I don't know maybe <laughs> well, but oh. i also can't like i can't name a starting five okay yeah i don't know so, any plays yeah. i don't know like hey he has good court vision yeah. you know what what would you say is the sports you watch the most i know you don't if you want to count skating as a sport then yeah no 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 like like between the the normies that one like the like normie ball, like ball what kind of like, i'll yeah. guess basketball basketball yeah because yeah. 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 i'm so, around that mostly because you're filipino yeah pretty much <laughs> then like just hearing the talks and everything yeah, yeah. But, but it's entertaining yeah. to watch. It is, yeah. yeah. I think basketball is very Filipino. Yeah, soccer oh, is like <laughs> very Hispanic, Mexican. It's the world sport. It's it, everyone. Yeah, yeah but you know, it's funny because like, uh, my skater homies and, and I like we have a soccer ball and we'll just start like volleying. Yeah. Like after yeah. the session, but we we stay at the park until like the lights are out. Damn. I'm like, but we we suck. <laughs> <laughs> we're not like we're not like Brazilians oh, who can just man. do do it's it crazy, hella yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what about you what's what's your sport that in terms of like the ones of the ball yeah um yeah basketball yeah basketball i used okay. to watch a lot more football but man it just takes yeah. too long there's the you know like the entire like two and a half hours of football mm-hmm. the the actual like time of action is like 12 yeah. minutes it's 12 uh, minutes of action yeah in the two yeah because you know you you do a play reset and then you yeah. just wait, wait, wait and a lot of like timeouts yeah. and, and stuff. then baseball too baseball used to be very boring they sped up the game a lot i think baseball is hella yeah. boring because i sorry. used to play baseball and now i'm just really? like i'm just bored on my fucking mind half the time really yeah see i think i think watching baseball is boring yeah. i think if you play it it's a little bit more entertaining yeah, it's still boring it just takes four yeah yeah it's Not a lot weird, of action because i was basketball. named after a baseball player so it's like <laughs> <laughs> so i don't fulfill my name <laughs> sorry i thought your name after the thing from ice age no, I the came. Fucking- I came before Ice Age, man. <laughs> I came before Ice Age. I, I came before the Menace in Toy Story, whatever want, people want to say. But the only one, like, uh, I came after Sid Vicious. So, <laughs> Sex Pistols was before me. So yeah. there's that. Basketball is like the the inverse. Like, I enjoy watching basketball. Yeah. I'm depressed when I play it. I oh. do not want to play at all. Like, you got I, no handles or what? I got no handles. Like, I can't yeah. dribble with my left. Yeah. And then I have only one like strategy so if you ever see me play basketball it's just, just to shoulder up. check the fuck out of everyone and, into, and then just try to lay it up <laughs> and even my layups are like questionable oh, too <laughs> yeah don't ask me for my jumper you dunk though, right you can touch rim no i've dunked before yeah i, dunk, I dunked yeah, just dunk they wouldn't expect the fucking you to dunk so why right. just give you a, I'm a short night. king hey. yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. how do you how do you tie this like you know like is yeah, it like, so like meaning in sports or no no just like it's it's fascinating what people kind of identify themselves with right oh like, where, okay. like one thing like i know i have cousins that are yeah heavy gamers yeah, right yeah. like then video games kind of defines their existence right oh okay where, and then people for some reason think that i define myself with the gym which is like the furthest away from the truth like, yeah i don't even enjoy working out would you much. say it's a core attribute to you not really really yeah are you like, sure if, dude if it's not are part of my sure? job if it's not part of my job i wouldn't sure? do it i wouldn't do it are you sure like if i, think I it is. if i could go back and like just stream for a living i would do it <laughs> yeah as much as yeah i find lifting boring too yeah. i still think fitness is like a pillar of my like core personality yeah. or core values yeah right no i mean like if, like 
being active and healthy in that yeah. way, like yes, but I, I'm talking about like some of our colleagues who are like obsessive about like right, yeah, the, the, every, the pump or not even the pump, like just glazing, like all uh, being Sam Sulik and um, <laughs> I don't know who else is in the the fitness uh, I influence. Sam, I think there's Sam Sulik, unless you're our other friend who follows actual bodybuilding, then he, yeah, he knows all the name. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. C bum. See, Chris Bum said, I yeah, yeah. Bum, right? Yeah. He's cool. I actually yeah, just cool. recently watched his, like, this is what I eat when I cut. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is, But this that's is cool. like, he's like Arnold, where he's not just like a meathead. He has a personality behind them, right? Yeah. Where, mm-hmm. Whereas, like, a lot of these bodybuilders are, like, very, yeah. they're just about hitting the macros yeah. and getting yeah. into the fucking gym. My whole thing is, like, I, I find value. Like, I think fitness is a core attribute to what defines me. Yeah. I just don't like being associated with the community. Especially powerlifting. So. Oh yeah, powerlifting. Yeah. yeah, it's it's out there. I'm sorry, powerlifters. Like yeah, it's they're just like, they're like crossfitters, right? Where yeah, you, they just let that. Uh, yeah, like like I said. So yeah. that's one of them, right? Let's talk mm-hmm. about that. To powerlifting. Yeah. When you were a little bit more involved in that community, mm-hmm. I don't know, back in the, what 2017 when you had your circuit. Yeah, 2015 to 17. Yeah. yeah. And then so pretty much everyone there. That's like their thing, right? That's all they did. All they yeah. It was just all sleep, big... talk, dreamt about yeah powerlifting, right? Yeah, which I, I I was a little bit the same too. But then okay. the thing is, is that my mindset was a little bit different. Again, my whole thing with powerlifting is that like these Gen Pop lifters value more of pushing the weight yeah. rather than the form. Which again, I'm not addressing That's like li- literally everyone. Like there's people there with great form. Yeah, but you see so many like bad habits but then the thing is like if you squat 315 then it's like oh yeah yeah great job but then if you have like knee valgus forward lean you know you're shifting to one side like just a lot of like mechanical inc- incorrections yeah then that bothers me right okay. and then you don't fix that and then you're surrounded by people that are just like hey good shit on the lift yeah. but like hey you should fix your form but it's it's people's hubris that they don't want to mm. lower the weight Got it. and then just work on like, so it's, perfecting so the it's form. the form that bugs you it's not them literally just the only thing they talk form, about form bugs me and then it's the camaraderie on like no one is pointing it out mm. to them okay. yeah it. that's my whole that, thing that's kind of the whole gym positivity thing right that's I guess. going on right like you're supposed to cheer on people well nowadays I get are, cheering on right? I get it but like I'm gonna like tell you like, hey, your form is ass. That's yeah. why I tell like you yeah. and then our other friend like, you know, if your leg drive is ass during the deadlift, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you yeah. that. Yeah, and it's helpful. Exactly. Like, otherwise, you're gonna keep pulling. But yeah, I mean, like nowadays, it, there's a lot more. I think gym positivity going on in social media because when I was growing up or when Instagram first came out, like mm-hmm. you got dragged literally if you were doing some of the like some of these TikTok kids, like they they're like what two what months into doing? training. And they're already like, doing like Sam Solik style like vlogs, like sh- shirtless flexing with nothing. Oh, right? like where they have the road mic and then they're just yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, they're talking. They're like yeah. they pretty much have no muscular development, and they're starting. They're trying to become an influencer, right? Okay. But there's a lot of that going on, uh, especially on uh, TikTok okay. and like Instagram Reels, right? Yeah. So like before that, like you got bullied hard for that maybe like yeah. ten years ago because like people were like you know you don't you're not impressive whatever. But nowadays there's I think it's a good thing honestly, right? Where people encourage that. Okay. Stuff. Yeah. But I just don't personally fuck with it. So I always click that like irrelevant or like don't show me the uh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to see it. I don't want to yeah, see yeah. some like 13 year old fucking shirtless. Like, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Right. But I think the whole like if you're if you are just promoting like gym positivity in terms like, of get like into the gym. Yeah. Get yeah. to the gym just for exercise. I think that's fine. Yeah. Or just teaching like, you know, even just general stuff like, hey, this is how you should yeah. do a shoulder press. I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. But if you're trying to be weirdly philosophical, <laughs> Or, yeah, again, like a gym warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that shit's weird. Yeah. It's like, oh, like many people like usually like don't like to bicep curl. But if your mindset is you want to be a winner, I'll be like, yo, what the hell is this? Yeah. Like, yeah. just dial in. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. That's it. <laughs> or if yeah. like if you think you're just an absolute beast just because you look the part, you look yeah. like a freaking Trojan or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like, I think that's just like super weird. I think the opposite is cringe too. You have fighters who are obviously insecure about the way they look right because you don't have to look you know, the part right yeah the part to be yeah. a good fighter fucking mm-hmm. look at fucking nate diaz you know 
yeah. great fighter looks like someone's drunk uncle, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so like you know, a lot of lot of guys, not pro fighters specifically, mm-hmm. but dudes who train in MMA, yeah, boxing, jujitsu, right? Yeah, they would like go onto these people's pages and they would drag them, like, oh, like muscles don't help fight. Like, I I think that's kind of weird too. Like you know, yeah. someone's doing their thing on powerlifting or whatever, and they're mm-hmm. like, oh, you're not like, what, like you can't fight. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I have some friends who train BJ and they, they're hella annoying. They're all like that. They're like, oh, like muscle is gonna, it's not gonna help you with in the fight, you know. I think that's like the the whole difference between performance and aesthetics. Yeah, either right. either, either I, you I, you you can balance both, sure. Right. But at the same time, like I see value on performance. That's why I love strength so much. Yeah, yeah. Right, because if you if you like are looking hella hub and yeah. you're just muscular as hell but i'm stronger than you then like what are your muscles really for other than just looking nice on the camera looking or nice. on yeah exactly looking right nice camera, which yeah. i get yeah. like if you have if that gives you confidence sure but if i can perform better than you if i can go on a hike and i'm not winded or i'm just like oh shit like my legs aren't cramping up i'm yeah. like yo i think that's that should change yeah right but at the same time like i think it's weird when like people make those comments like you've done it sometimes before and then like our friend really does it where if if you are i guess in the in your eyes underdeveloped or not yeah. as muscular yeah. then you're not as like respected as in our field i guess so yeah, yeah. in our field, i guess that, so. that's I, I think I know, it's super weird because i know for our friend he's talking in general just even for gen pop yeah but f- like for me i know most people don't even go to the gym like yeah, only yeah. like 10 percent of americans yeah. actually has a gym membership yeah right so like for me, I'm like you know whatever it's cool. I don't yeah. really judge Gen Pop that hard. Mm-hmm. I judge people who charge people f- for so training. So the, the right? trainers and coaches is who you judge. Yeah, because you're providing a service. You should at right. least do. You don't have to look the part, right? You should yeah. at least do the part, right? Right. And when you do the part consistently, like you're you know mm-hmm. you're not gonna look like shit. Like what what's the what are the possibility po- probability that you you know train hard, do you uh-huh. know what you're doing, kind of diet wise, right? Yeah. And look like complete shit and is weak as fuck, right? There's one of the guys here that are like that, you know, that uses the baby bar. Oh, but like yeah. you know, but what what are the statistical anomalies that you know that a good coach will look like a fucking melted ice cream cone, right? right, like, right so right. that's why that's where I judge because oh, I feel like okay. they're pretty much just fleecing people, right? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're they're providing shitty service and then mix yeah. everyone in the fitness industry, right, right? Right. Whereas like you need to like back up whatever you are yeah, at least some bit. You don't have to look people. like a pro bot. You don't have to like squat 600 pounds, right? Exactly, to train yeah. gen pop, but you should yeah. at least not be winded when you walk into the gym, right? Yeah. Like that's winded. just embarrassing. Like yeah. <laughs> it's bad anyways. posture. Bad it's posture bad gets posture, me like, like you know, the most kind of fat, like I don't know. Yeah. That's my thing. But anyways, oh, aside from gym stuff. So what other than skating would uh-huh. you say what other things do you kind of tie your self your identity with right like what what other things that kind of defines you like when people look at sid like oh uh, photography is that one of them i guess so um i i would put just streetwear okay fashion as one yeah yeah fashion. so fashion or fashion and then that's a more visual sense but yeah. in terms of personality i would say hip-hop and r&b okay so music wise right? yeah it would just define me like as who i am okay. right like if you look at me yeah you're gonna say you're gonna say like oh yeah like he dresses nice but he, it's streetwear right you're mm-hmm. the, i'm not like a soy boy i'm not i guess classy you're a fuck boy <laughs> i guess so yeah, yeah. No, if, no i'm if not you, if, yeah yeah if you it's like a, at first class if you think i yeah. look like one then okay yeah, yeah but personality wise i don't think so. so right right but no 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 i mean no no one gets yeah. that deep and, but like majority of times people don't think i look like a fuck boy yeah they do <laughs> who who yeah, dude. yeah they do not really dude, when i when you posted that reel even all your friends agreed like your your homies about not you being re- a fuck boy not really yeah, yeah. anyways whatever. Not really. Yeah, so it's fashion yeah i think yeah, we talked if about you're that. my friend and you're watching or listening to this just like tell me like just without knowing me, do you, would you think I, uh, I'm a fuckboy? <laughs> just be very honest. Be very brutally honest. Just let me know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fashion. Okay. So with, what? So in the context, what kind of what I want to talk about this episode is like mm-hmm. uh, people that are really attached to a certain thing that's outside of their control, like a sports team or okay. like a hip-hop artist or something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, I know like a guy, the same guy that I'm talk, kind of referencing because uh-huh. he, he kind of brought it up to me. He's a diehard basketball fan right so he's okay. super super pissed that his team got eliminated yeah yeah and then the same week he's also like he also glazes the shit out of drake 
So when Euphoria okay. dropped, like his fucking whole world came crumbling down because really? Drake didn't. Yeah, yeah. So like, so is like, it because Drake didn't respond, or because Kendrick didn't respond? Ken, Ken, Kendrick, Kendrick came through with came some through punches, with punches, and then another one. Because that song's fun. Like I've been listening to Euphoria. Like the more and more I listen to, it, I'm like, damn, dude, this. This yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, dude. Originally, I was just like, "Damn, you're dragging it on, bro." But then yeah. I kind of listened to it a little bit more. I was like, "Oh, the, he got like some yeah, yeah. other stuff going on." I gotta take I just care don't of my like son, but he, you don't know none about that. I just that. don't like how he fucking sounds like he's crying half the time. Like his delivery is like, is he trying to mock his like Drake's accent I, or what? I, I think that's just the way he does. I think yeah. it, just because he's more nasally. Okay, that's a little, little bit of that. Yeah. yeah, but other than that, if you listen to Six Sixteen in LA, that's more like old older okay. kendrick yeah so he's just spitting on that one so what, what were you saying like so your friend like is very yeah but like the there's a there's a lot of people that they they tie them their whole like self-worth and being to other things to right? other things okay. like i have another friend who is all about she was like very caught up in the kardashian drama yeah and like t swift and stuff like that so mm-hmm. like she gets her validation from that right and then when i think when taylor lost her number one yeah. spot to vultures or carnival Right? Yeah, she was like devastated. Really, like, she was like pissed. She yeah. was like on. So it, it's just interesting to me that you know there we we kind of uh, as Americans, right? Because you don't see this yeah. in other countries as much. Really, for I, celebrity I th- worship, I, I think, I think celebrity worship. Really, yeah, really. Yeah. For so, I think it's still it's internationally known for the fixation of celebs because if you have K-pop, yeah, there's like they're devout. And uh, someone told me like K-pop is like their porn because porn is apparently like super illegal what? so it's not like it's not like i don't know if it goes as far as they're they're like masturbating to it but the, it's, oh okay. that's like who they glaze over that's who they're like oh, oh like man. idol worship right? yeah yeah, okay. yeah it's like oh it's so hot or something like so that's what gets them off you I know th- i feel like that's a very western thing because you have to be at a certain level of wealth like in your yeah. country right to be able to worry about stuff like that if you live in zimbabwe the last thing you're that you're worried about is yeah some idol right but this is yeah this yeah. is just like you know, just like pop culture and yeah. music right where you, were, were you like yeah i, I can see that like, k-pop stands right same exactly. thing where their entire self-worth yeah, is yeah. tied where they, to they get super sad because their idol is doing their military service like oh my god i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna still stand with you in two years yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like they're okay. waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just that <laughs> yeah. level of fanaticism. So I yeah. don't think it's just an American thing. It may, might be like a Western, Western thing, yeah. sure. But I don't think it's Developed just like solely an, uh, yeah. an American thing. Yeah. But I think, yeah, being invested in the whole like celeb, like uh, drama or. Who they're dating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like, very like American. Especially like, you know, when you have stuff like TMZ. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, and that's why they're like well, almost a billion dollar company, right? Because they. Right. they like tabloids too right people yeah. like live vicariously through yeah, yeah. these false idols yeah, yeah. i don't be religious but and then they base their entire personality about that yeah and i saw that a lot during the the eras tour when all okay. the swifties started coming with the fucking woodwork and like okay and all they you know their whole thing is just being a taylor swift stand which yeah. is i i think it's kind of weird but yeah. i do you right but yeah i also see that with disney adults too fucking like oh that that the, whole fanaticism that whole, yeah it's just like it's just weird to me like i i agree it's a little bit weird to me but i get the whole like whimsical atmosphere of going to disneyland right. and loving it yep. and stuff i think when you go too hard in the paint with it yeah. that's when i'm just like oh all right exactly but i think if you just enjoy going to disneyland yeah do you? but there, there's fine. a different level to to just people who have annual pass and enjoy going there maybe you know maybe they go like buy a couple yeah. of souvenirs and stuff or they wear the mickey hat or they just versus yeah, yeah. people who go as like bell or whatever every fucking day i don't, that, want, that, I don't that, want like that yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> uh. that's, that's that's low-key kind of weird but as an adult like in your 30s right 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 but you know there i mean there's like there's Again, always- i think it's super weird when you when you pose next to a, a mascot like real real hell into it. if you're yeah. just like posing like next and just like doing this yeah, or yeah, just yeah. hand over yeah. just smiling i think that's fine but when you're like oh you gotta act like mickey so we can just do that i think that's where it's hella yeah, weird, weird yeah. because i always think about the person <laughs> wearing the, yeah, that. it's just a regular dude <laughs> yeah right? just probably just like hey i'm just doing my job yeah. just it's like fuck <laughs> yeah yeah unless they're also kind of like code switch and brainwashed into like being super oh uh, like you think, the, you think that's part of a they, what they look for as a cast they, member? they, they have to do right? that yeah you gotta portray the character yeah yeah because yeah. uh i i knew the previous oh it's not air it's like one of the princesses damn i forgot yeah okay yeah but i i knew her oh okay I she was her. like that 
And she, yeah. was, she was like, all about that. Okay. No, like they, they have to like train you to like, you have to always smile. Oh, you have to shit. always point with like two fingers or something. Are or they, I think you point like this. Or something. In and out? The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like whole, these, these yeah. whole rules and stuff. Yeah. And then like, uh, if you wear a certain uniform, you, you can only stay in that section. You can't yeah. be caught in a different section. Yeah. yeah. It's like super strict like that. That's, yeah. So, so like I, I always bring that up like I because I, I I find these behaviors kind of weird right okay and then people think I'm a hater because they're like well just because you're not passionate it's just passion that's what they say like, right it's just, they're just passionate about something right right but I think there's a very fine line between like being really into something yeah and then being like a little bit too much yeah. in my opinion but the thing is like if you are not passionate or you don't have ties to like these I guess hobbies yeah. or um. I guess just things that you like, like how, what are you as a person then? Right. Right. But I mean, like I said, like, I think for like, for our, for, for us, right. Like right. fitness is one of them. Right. But mm-hmm. we're not like posting quotes with lions and wolves behind them talking yeah, about yeah. that shit every day. Right. Yeah. Your only enemy yeah. is who you look at. Yeah, in like, and then, you know, we, we watch anime, but we're not like hella weeb and yeah. weird about that shit. Right. Mm-hmm. And then like what I go to festivals, but I'm not like fucking super plur kid. Like, yeah. you know, like, so there's like different levels yeah, of fanaticism, yeah. right? Yeah. I enjoy a mesh of activities. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Let's go. Like, you're not super flurry kid. No, no, hold on. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hold on, man. I see you cheesing as hell in these photos, man. That's the supplement. And you be like posting like all your like artists, like freaking 20 stories worth of like, oh, this is like. I, I can't name a single one. Like this is freaking Griffin fucking fire, dude. <laughs> I have never said this is fucking fire. <laughs> but you yeah. post it like I know you think it's fire. <laughs> like I, I post-, post it for the homies who can't make it. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, dude, this yeah. this EDM mix of carnivals. Like, oh, dude, this, this hit is so good. This this fiend trap remix. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that shit is fire. Though. All right then. Yeah. Fiend. Yeah. So you, yeah, you can't Travis say Scott. you're not like no, but like you, you've never been to a, well, you went to Coachella, right? But you never been to like a rave rave where people are like super, like too much about like love. Oh, like you know you got like because there, there's these people in the rave community called Wooks. Wooks. Yeah. Like W O O K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like they're almost like ultra hippies, right? So they're on like weird drugs. They smell bad. They're like yeah, yeah. But like they're like all about like oh, they will come up to you and be like oh, like I I love your energy. <laughs> oh. like, yeah, they're like that kind of people. Yeah, you know? so I, that's what I'm talking about. I've had people go up to yeah. me before, like I love your energy, like you give positive stuff, and then and like, like, I, like I'm what? always nice because I like I'm scared that like <laughs> if if I'm a dick, then like they're gonna put some voodoo on me, uh, and then some shit. This bad shit's gonna happen. I'm so like, like, hey, yeah. they're they're like working in LA or something. So I just I just leave it at hey, I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, just get keep the on moving <laughs> <laughs> before any like bad juju yeah. gets on me. You look okay. on you look on their IG, their bio, they're like a sound healer. Yeah, you know, like a capricorn yeah. <laughs> yeah so if you say that you're not like an ultra fanatic or anything yeah. in in that level like what would you say is like one or several that you can really say like all right i'm pretty like tied to this like this is what defines me or like i'm really invested in i guess so for me like that that's that's where i draw the line like where stuff i enjoy mm-hmm. versus stuff that defines me because i don't okay. think anything really I don't want to sound all edgy and shit. Like I don't think like a certain activity or person or whatever r- really defines really? me as a person. Fitness. That, that doesn't define me. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Look at the shirt you're wearing right now, man. <laughs> I'm at work, bro. <laughs> yeah. Come on, yeah. dude. I'm, I'm serious. Does that define you? Does, you, yes. you feel like fitness defines you? Yes. As much as I don't want it to define yeah. me. Like it still does because it's again it's a very strong pillar, yeah. dude. I get comments all the fucking time. Okay. Like, and uh, again, I have this like reverse like body dysmorphia yeah. <laughs> that I'm going through. That like every time it's like, dude, I see like y- you've been working out. Yeah. And I see your shoulders. I'm like, oh, I'm like no. <laughs> you don't. You don't feel like it's just a thing you do, right? Like, like you, I like I work right. My my yeah. profession, right? No, my, my whole thing is like with strength and mobility is like the longevity of is like, I'm doing this because I want to be healthy and be able to do stuff outside of the gym that's right. why i'm so fixated on it because it does help right right yeah it's like i can go on any hike and be like yeah this is whatever i don't care my legs feel fine my feet feel fine yeah. i can walk through coachella i can like travel to japan and walk right. everywhere my toes might be crying but yeah. in general like my <laughs> the my, my <laughs> body feels yeah. fine right right i can skate i can like eat shit like yeah i get like sprains here and there but in general like you know i'm not 
I'm not taking a toll as much as like how I see other people take a toll, like for or drinking. Yeah. Right. I can drink and then, you know, I'm not going to be totally hung over or trash for like the next few days. And you because because I live such a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so it's more about healthy then like health. Yeah. Right. Not really like gym. Because when you say fitness, but I think the gym, gym is like the strong factor on like living that healthy lifestyle, like gym, nutrition, everything about it. Okay. That's why it's also my job. Right. Okay. You know? So, yeah. So as much as like, yeah, I don't want to be part of the powerlifting fitness community. community right. I don't want to be part of the whole like macho alpha mentality community. Yeah. No matter what, like people still look at me as like, oh, that's yeah, a fitness guy. Like, something that you do. Yeah. And they could freaking see it. Like as they, much as like, I think. <laughs> A freaking oversized shirt is covering everything. It does. No, I know it does not, it. I know. Not. Just give it to me. <laughs> just give it to me, it man. <laughs> Every time someone comments on it, like outside of the gym, I'm just like, oh, foiled. <laughs> like, how did you it. know? <laughs> Especially at the skate parts, like, dude, man, like, dude, your chest is popping out right now. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I trained legs today. I trained legs today. Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So, I I see where you're coming from. I, exactly. I think for for me when. When you mean identity, it's just like you. There's something that you, you can't separate yourself from. I can't separate myself from, from fitness. Gym. Really, can't. I don't yeah. think so. Okay, like yeah. you, if you just stop lifting right now. No. 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 You would. I. I wouldn't. Okay. Because at the same time, like you know, I'm proud of myself that I made it this far, where like I've gotten this strong. And again, I don't believe in, um, what's it called? Like a genetic peak. Yeah. Because I, I, I was thinking that like. A year or two, I was like, dang, am I not going to pass 315? But now I'm at the point where I'm like slowly passing yeah. it because I'm pushing myself. Yeah. So now I'm at the point where like my body's healthy. I yeah. feel fine. Let me keep, let me continue until whatever happens where it'll make me stop lifting at this intensity. Hey, someone drug test this, man. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Like test me. Pee. I'm scared of needles. How the fuck am I going to do roids? All right. <laughs> There's no way. Every time I have to get a shot, I have to look dude. away. Like a suppository. What's that? Like a up your butt, like those pills? No, dude. No. I, I I don't even like butt stuff, man. <laughs> well, of course not, dude. No, I don't even like when a girl like grabs my butt. I don't yeah. allow it. I'll stop and say, "Hey, can you move with your hand?" <laughs> yeah, lower back. On so my... so if Sydney Swinney wanted to peg you, no, no, no chance. Hell no, no chance. Just no. two seconds. No, <laughs> no, that's two seconds too long, bro. <laughs> just dude. just just the plastic tip. It's no? <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> I ain't down for Sydney Sweeney. It's my mental health that <laughs> that will be so affected. That's why yeah. I feel like like the moment I have to do a prostate exam, I need like I need friends to like cheer me up after. Like right? in the same room? No. <laughs> no, like after like hey, dude, it's we'll, not we'll, that bad. No. It's professional. You just drop no. your shit. You just shut no. the fuck up for like 5 seconds. No. No, okay. no I'm pretty sure I'm going to cry. Like yeah. I don't know. I'm scared. You never had a prostate exam? No. You're th- right. I'm late till 40, dude. <laughs> Technically you're not yeah. <laughs> No, technically, like, yeah, you should start. Like, regular, yeah, like, 30 is, like, when I started. Because I was like, yeah, get nah, 40. Get over with. Yeah. 40, man. So once every five years. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, the, the reason why if, I'm, like. If it was a girl doctor, would it be better? Or you think a No. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather have a guy. No, I'd rather have nothing. <laughs> if you had to choose, would you, would you rather have a guy doctor or a girl doctor? I'd rather a girl. Why? Because it just. I feel like a dude would be like kids. They would know. They would be like, all right, all right, we're out. All right, we're good. We're good. It would be like less awkward because you're both like aware of the I don't know just, gravity of the situation. Just thinking about it just <laughs> makes me very uncomfortable. But the reason like I'm waiting until 40 is like one like that's also an age that you should start. Yeah. But I'm hoping by the time I'm turning 31 this month, so I'm hoping by the time I'm 40. Modern advancement <laughs> has gone so far. Well, you can just scan. Yeah, you can just scan and just not have to do a finger up the butt. What if it's a robot? A robot? A robot giving you the exam. Okay. Is the finger cold? I mean, I guess it's, they could warm it I, I would have they, to, they like, probably warm it if up it's room you. temperature, yeah. I might be okay with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So as long as it's not a human being. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But what, what yeah, if, but if that robot automatically after says that's what's up, after like that's where <laughs> that's where uh, <laughs> check me into an asylum, man. <laughs> Chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. What if the robot was manned, like it was controlled by the guy in another room? That would that would still be no, right? I think that made me feel a lot better. Okay, all right. So, yeah, yeah. So you're out there. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but if it's like some, I need to be on like a reverse like stirrup like. <laughs> Like BDSM like type shit, yeah. yeah. Like 
that's where I'm like, yo, like, <laughs> just bringing a human man. <laughs> like, I can't do this. I can't do this, uh, dude. I'm telling you, that it's like one of the things. But anyways, yeah. like, I still think fitness still defines me. Like, okay. you know, I, I want to keep pushing myself okay. until, like, can't anymore. I, 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 you know, circumstance, I can't. I feel like, you know, once I have kids or you I'm more domesticated. You ever check your FFMI? FFMI? What's that? That's your fat-free mass index. So no. that that's pretty much your genetic potential. So people with the FFMI of 25 and over, uh-huh. most of the time they're on gear. They're on steroids, right? Okay. Because you can't, right? So it, it takes your height, which is whether you're 5'7". Yeah. Whether you currently weight. Uh, last time I checked... Like you want the accurate one, or you want just like a roundup? Uh, a round, like just just one sixty eight. W- what do you walk around and body fat wise? One sixty eight body fat wise. I haven't. I don't do the in bodies. Yeah, or anything. yeah, but I you're just, like what about twelve, thirteen? Most most. I want to guess. Yeah, twelve, just to stay, stay safe. Okay. Yeah. So you are you have a FFMI of twenty two point six eight. I don't know what that means. So again, if you're if you're twenty five and up, that means that your muscle mass to your height ratio uh-huh. is way off and there's a very low chance of you okay. attaining that naturally. So what does 22 mean? That means you're at the upper end of your genetic limit. Okay. Not quite there yet because okay. you still have another three, like 2.5 things. Okay. So, so for your height, it looks like if you keep the same body fat at like 13%, right? Uh-huh. Your genetic limit is probably going to be closer to 182 so oh, like body, body weight. Body weight, 182 at 5'7", at 13% body fat. That's probably the l- oh. limit for you. Good thing I don't want to go over 180 yeah. But that's ever. a lot of fucking muscle, dude. That's like, what, 13, yeah. 14 pounds of pure muscle? That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look like a freaking tank. Yeah. Yeah. I already look like a Ninja Turtle without a shirt, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that that's how people usually calculate their oh. people's nattiness. So like, I meant genetic peak in terms of strength. Yeah. But I, I, mean, like I guess you could tell yeah, like muscle, you know, muscle yeah, yeah. mass, right? Yeah, so for for my height, it's two at thirteen percent body fat is two oh four. That can't be right. Anyways, all right, <laughs> that, that's a little low, but yeah, two oh five. I don't know what that means. Two oh at two hundred five pounds at five ten at thirteen uh-huh. percent body fat. That's supposed to be the limit. I don't know. That's hella accurate. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. But also, yeah, these are was, just like they're, 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 yeah, yeah. They're yeah. calculators. They they did a lot of studies. There has to be on, some like actual physical scan. There, there's there's one that's more accurate, but that one uses your um, measurements. So you take your all the stuff we talked about earlier, mm-hmm. right? And your like wrist uh, measurements, circumference, ankles, yeah. and like hip and all that stuff. Okay. And then they do a more oh professional okay. like yeah, you know, yeah. in depth one. But I rather do that. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, that, does it matter though? Because no. like, for a lot of people, like they they really care about if someone is like natural or not, or like how many years. Like, but I always tell my clients, like, does it really matter? Because you don't have their genetics. Yeah. Right. Like, so you're never gonna look like them anyways. Yeah. So why does it matter if they're enhanced or not enhanced or not? It doesn't mm. affect you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, cause they look yeah. up to people. They're like, oh, I want to look like Brad Pitt. <laughs> I want to look like Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt in Fight Club. <laughs> yeah. Or like Troy, right? Then I'm okay. just like, well, you can't. Because yeah. you're not Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you ever gotten this question? I got this question years ago. I haven't got it, like, any recently. It's the whole, like, can you change... Uh, do you think I can change my uneven abs? I'd be like, nah. <laughs> like, bro, that's just, like, your posture when you grew up, dog. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uneven abs, yeah. That's I'm just the like, shape. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. It's because you freaking slouched or yeah. did something as you were developing into an adult. I'm like, yeah. so- sorry to say, you know. <laughs> It's just how it is, yeah. right? Your muscle insertion, that that's just how it is. Even without the posture thing, yeah, you know, yeah. just how you're built. Yeah. It's- so you wouldn't really say there was something like, oh, like this is like a pillar of my like personality or my core self. I still think is, fitness is, is being one. a hater one of them. Cause yeah, they- <laughs> that's fine. If you no. enjoy like like sipping that haterade. I no, think- I, I don't enjoy sipping the haterade. Really? Yeah. I do. Do you really? Yeah, because there's no malice to it. I love mm. clowning on people. Okay, that's different than being an actual hater, though. That's still hating. That's. I feel like you're just you're joking. Because like the there's time, right? again there's yeah. levels to it. Like there, there's like you know surface levels. Like I can make fun of like man, there's a freaking yeah. loose thread in your yeah. shirt. That's whack yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Or I can like Go cut in. deep, but then like again, if we know each other yeah. and you know that I'm just joking. Yeah then it's fine right like a kendrick level hate i hate the way you talk the way you dress like yeah but then the yeah. thing is like if you think i'm joking yeah. then again it's fine it's more in context yeah because there was like one time so like one of my cousins that i'm really close with 
she like face out or her friend facetimed me because she was hella drunk yeah and she's like, I said, help, I'm in the yeah. toilet. I'm like, okay. But then I kept, cl- like, I'm used to just clowning her. Yeah. Right? Like, she's a smart individual, but she sucks at math. So I just kept saying, like, man, like, you really want her to, like, yeah, 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 do yeah. something, something. Her friend got pissed at me. What? It's like, it's like you you don't think your cousin is an intelligent person and she can take care of herself? And I kept doubling down. Yeah. I kept yeah. like, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she she really is like, oh, you better man, apologize to your Like, she, Damn, like, so dude. I think it's all, like, context, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. But then again, like, this is me, like, yeah, like, sipping that haterade, yeah. right? It's like, I like teasing people. Right. Yeah, it's fun for me. Yeah. You know, like, you know, I there's no malice. You know, I'm not trying to hurt feelings or anything. You're not, yeah. But it's just me having fun. So, yeah, again, like, you can attribute that as, like, something that you enjoy or as, like, part of your per- personality. I think being a hater is a little yeah. bit more than that, what you do. Because I don't think you're a true hater. Yeah. Because right? you don't, because being a hater is just, like, you know, you you literally hate the core of this person, no matter what activities they do, no matter right. what they do, right? Yeah, you're like, oh, you just hate, you just find the reason. Yeah, like, so I guess teasing. Yeah, you're teasing, like, yeah, just be joking, you, and fucking around. Yeah, yeah, because that's my way of showing affection, my words of affirmation. <laughs> that's my words of affirmation, man. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> shit. Yeah, because yeah. it's hell of like, because if you already know that I value you as a friend or a family. Yeah. I don't need to tell you that. I'm like, hey, you're an awesome person. I'm like, I'm a clown on like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, your your hands are freaking hella ashy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, again, this this, yeah, this, yeah, okay. this same cousin like she yeah. uh, she got engaged ashy, will, yeah. and then she had to get her ring refitted. Yeah. And then she uh, sent the story, and I'm like, you need lotion? What the <laughs> fuck? Like, so that's what I yeah. yeah. But yeah. I don't need to like comment like oh my god i'm so excited yeah. for you beautiful yeah. Yeah. stunning <laughs> ashy <laughs> yeah i was like yeah ashy yeah. as fuck dude like that's why it's that's like awesome yeah. Shit. yeah so i'd rather just do that right okay. so like sarcasm like teasing right. like it's just so part that's of, part of, okay part of my personality yeah. so you can say that for yourself too exactly if you, yeah if you feel like you're sipping that haterade you're you're sarcastic yeah. it's just how you Can't are take life yeah. too seriously yeah if right? you like being negative as like oh, a fun body. thing like cool i feel like a drag sh- that that negative negatively affects you because no, i know I'm, negative I'm pe- not saying, i know you're not negative but like i know yeah. people who are always negative yeah and it's just like you if you're a real just, negative nancy yeah, yeah, yeah like that's, that's just annoying bro because it it brings everyone down right it, it's just annoying but for me yeah. i'm just like super jolly and then, yeah, but yeah. i'll just tease the fuck out of you that's just well, how it is yeah okay. so you wouldn't say anything like you know I like fucking around, like messing with people. Okay. Like that, yeah. That's yeah. that's a core. But again, fitness, I don't know. I don't know about really? fitness. So aside from those two, what would you say is something there had like there's a reason why you're you. Yeah. So like what is like, you know, what what do you have ties to? Like what do you see like oh yeah, like Oh no, I don't I don't I don't get locked up. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude the, the group chats, no, no, I'm just kidding. Uh come on yeah. man, you gotta say fest- <laughs> festival going has to be part no, of it. No, 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 no. That was what? recent. That was recent. What? That's not recent. Really? I, I feel like I take my career more seriously than that. Than like festivals and stuff like that. Okay, sure, yeah. but I still think like this is like more money. Next year. <laughs> money, sure. Yeah, see, that's okay. a core value, right? Okay. But Ma- not really materialism, but I guess success be Really, yeah. really, what 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 brand hoodie did you just hey, you buy? Know oh, <laughs> material, <laughs> really. What brand yeah, hoodie? What, yeah, what yeah, brand yeah. was it? Gap. Bro? Gap. <laughs> Gap is still up there. I want to get the easy one, but they didn't even ship my pods yet. So, motherfuckers. <laughs> Gap is still pretty. Like, if you said like Ross or something, Ross. then I'll be like, all right. Ross like, is not a brand. Yeah, but you pick up stuff there. Yeah. What's the crap? Like Old Navy. Old Navy's show. Yeah. What's a brand that's like? Do you own shit? Old Navy? Is that hoodie that you bought Old Navy? <laughs> It really? could be. No, <laughs> I don't it's, think it's so. It's red. <laughs> it's exactly. Red. <laughs> yeah. So again, like you know, like money, like you know, slight materialistic values. Slight, like yeah, that, exactly. That's, yeah, that's fine. Like because I'm the same giving. I give a lot. Okay. Yeah. Do you though? I do. do. You? Yeah. Do you share your uh, Jollibee family pack chicken? Um, <laughs> people will ask me, but no one ever asked me to share food. Really? Yeah. Ever? No, it's the other way around. They always pass me their food. Okay. Like I'm some kind of fat ass. No, I actually get hella offended when people do that. They bring me lunch sometimes. Well, like your clients? Yeah. Why? Because it makes me feel poor. Not. It's just a nice <laughs> gesture. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, it shit bumps See, me the wrong way. This <laughs> yeah, rate, it shit man. bumps me the wrong way, dude. I'm just like, I'm not poor, man. Like, not really. that poor. It's a nice gesture. Okay, lunch. Lunch is it's a little extreme. I had a client once who brought me. Oh, I don't know. She gave me like. Fifty dollars, and then she was like, "Oh, like go get yourself something nice." That shit rubbed me hell of like that shit pissed me off. Really? Yeah. 
Why? That, that was not here though. That was like when back when I was doing house calls, like COVID times. Yeah. And then uh, it was just like climbing that. It's the gesture. You Bro, drove. That shit just you drove me to off. that person's house, did your service, and then like. That's kind of like a keep the change moment for me when I was a okay. barista. When they're like keep the change, that shit pissed me off. Really? Yeah. So you're so Asian that you just don't accept tips. I guess yeah, in our industry, like yeah, yeah like you, we don't get tips. But then, <laughs> yeah, I wish we did, man. That'd be nice. <laughs> 20 percent. Twenty, 20, bu- 20 bucks 20%, every Twenty percent, dude. Time. Dude, that's that's nice. Like I'm a massage therapist. Can you imagine like every package? Like oh, if you want to add that tip. You just <laughs> flip the iPad around. <laughs> just, That'd be crazy, dude. <laughs> just have like the, would you like to do 13, 15, or 18? Yo, I went to this one uh, takeout spot. Uh-huh. I couldn't find the no tip option. That shit is wild. Really? It was, dude, the default, the lowest was 18. It was 18, 20, 22. Damn. There was no X. There was no no tip. It was, really? I was just like, dude. I guess I'll do 18 or custom. It was like custom on the bottom. Yeah. So 18. custom zero. <laughs> Bro, that's. Custom zero. That, that's custom no, no, zero. No, no. Enter. Oh my god. Custom that's zero. That's hella. Enter. That's but they do that on purpose. That's extra step. No, exactly. Push. They do it because they you they gotta want type you to in zero point zero zero. Yeah, that's why you don't need to tip every yeah. time. Obviously, if you're dining in and stuff. No, I one. never tip takeout because they're doing shit. They're exactly. Just fucking bringing it out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So don't comment me for not tipping sometimes. Yeah, but like you said, a delivery guy and you had no cash. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> that's fucked up. No, dude. the thing is that if it if it's like through Posa, you could tip on the app. But they don't get all of it. No, you do. You do? You now do they, get yeah yeah. Oh. It's the um the general whatever amount for the delivery that oh. gets divided. The tip the driver gets a hundred percent. I see. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, I know because I did postmates. <laughs> I remember back back way back before they changed the law, Uber tip was not a hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Right, because my friend did Uber and like some, when someone paid them like five dollars, Uber take like a dollar forty or something like that. Oh, really? It's fucked up. But they, I think oh. that the, they changed the law in California okay. where you it has to be like a hundred percent. So now when you tip yeah. an Uber, it's like oh, all yeah. of the tip goes. That's a to very the controversial like proposition. Proposition forty five. Yeah. Oh, no, episode forty five. No. Oh, <laughs> levels, no. levels. You knew about yeah. this. No, like you, you know, it's a, it's a whole um. Like uh, all the driver companies, like Uber, Lyft, and all that, um, uh, the whole proposition like uh, says like if you said I think yes, then that it forces those companies to provide uh, health care. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But if you said no, then like in turn you're an independent you get, contractor. Then yeah, point, and right? then you you get all the tips yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. that that was the whole discrepancy between that. But then I'll say that the marketing was crazy. It really convinced you to say no. Yeah. It's like yeah. I I. I it, the, it, it affected every industry when they did that because yeah. now you can't hire contractors. Mm-hmm. That so the the whole idea is if you perform the core function of the business, yeah, you have to be an employee, right? So let's say you have a training. No, company. I feel like I feel like in my experience, it entices people to be uh, businesses to hire more of just these subcontractors, so they, they don't can't do that anymore. What are you talking about? Yeah, so if you're... Let's I say used you, to be a, a, a contracted some con, contracted freelancer. For film, right? Yeah. Because you don't provide the core function of things. You're not a one-man show. They, yeah, they yeah. can't live... They could live without you. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, let's say you own a gym, right? And you okay. hire a personal trainer. Uh-huh. So after that pass, you can no longer hire the trainer as a 1099. Because now... Because the, the trainer technically could, could do everything that your service needs right oh so okay. now they have to have an be an employee w2 with the salary really? and all that stuff, right okay which i think it's good if you're lazy uh-huh people are gonna hate on me for that but it i think i feel like if you're an independent contractor you're in more control of your income you could make more yeah you could take home more you could yeah you could play with your finances yeah. a little bit have a it's little what bit of we ride. do because yeah. we set our own prices yeah and you could you could write off some expenses right oh yeah yeah but after that pass technically like you're not supposed to do that anymore because the trainers now provide what do you mean that pass what's the pass the prop 45 okay 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 okay, okay. yeah so all the people doing that right now are doing it illegally Mm. when they give a 1099 right okay because it's the irs just don't give a fuck they're not gonna check it right but if you do it by the books everyone's supposed to be w2 that means that you can't write off shit anymore yeah right your pay is gonna go down because i'm sure per diem or like freelance people get paid way higher yeah, yeah, hourly yeah. right versus someone who's going to be there yeah, as yeah. an employee yeah i got laced up yeah so i, I think it hurt some industry that but it, it gave a safety net i guess right for yeah. people that are struggling mm-hmm. but i don't believe in safety nets so okay yeah but again 
I'm I'm still asking like what what would you say is like something that exteriorly defines meaning to you? Like I said, so so giving the, fitness altruism, altruism. Okay, yes. I'm not that selfless, but I I enjoy helping people. Okay. Right, that money, F- fucking selfie fitness. <laughs> oh, okay. Why? Dude, like there are days where I don't work out for like a week, and I'm like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that, yeah. but I still I, personally for me, yeah. I still think it's like ingrained in your personality i guess so yeah again like, i wouldn't again, be where i am like, right now without exactly it. Right? okay all right exactly yeah so same for me yeah yeah as much as i don't want to be that guy whatever the power lifter the filipino power lifter yeah like <laughs> but you I, are i am so i have to accept that yeah you know even yeah. if i disassociate myself it's a little loud but it's yeah, fine it's whatever yeah. yeah you know yeah like do i care about being the strongest in the gym not really do you think that some re- other people do? <laughs> I don't know why. It's always a competition. <laughs> like I don't do imaginary anything. Imaginary competition. Uh, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. That, I don't. I don't get this. Uh, yeah, like, there's like this weird. imaginary beef, man. It's weird. I don't understand. It's, we don't. <laughs> like, because the last thing we do when we do our day is just like, fuck, we got to hit this number or yeah, ABC, man. Right? We don't go around looking at yeah. people like, ooh, what's he hitting? Yeah, I'm not. A, <laughs> I'm not a beamer. So yeah. like a beamer. For anyone that uh, knows, like, if someone does something, like, anything, and then they turn around, like, looking for validation, yeah. that's what a beamer is, because they're, they're trying to beam. Yeah. Your disciple is like that. He's very like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but what I'm saying is that, like, I'm not like that at all. I'm very quiet. I'm quiet. I have my headphones on. I yeah. usually ignore people. And you're then they o- getting, they always they yeah. always have to like put their fist in front of me to like bump <laughs> they, or they have to like yeah like okay. when you offered forty five plates yeah. when you were um, oh yeah, yeah yeah I was chasing you I was like motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I had like yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I know you're locked in that's why I, uh, <laughs> I just like try not to talk to anyone yeah. but yet there's like these subtle jabs that some of these trainers like yeah. give like for what yeah what just because well, I'm you're strong? the standard right for them I you're, don't go, like why you're the why standard. am I the standard. Because your your ability is so far removed from what they can do, it, yeah. it's almost like a like a goal that they can never reach, right? Yeah. Because like no one like. But if they look fun. at er ex rx like you know the standard for proficient is like way lower. So they yeah, should- but like they in their point of view, you make them look bad uh, because yeah. you're so much more advanced in I at guess. least the big three, yeah. right? Oh, because their core meaning is this gym alone exactly. yeah their whole personality yeah, so there, there, there you go so that's yeah. how the whole thing so they, so they don't they, look at like the outside or they don't look at like they've never uh, been to like a actual like powerlifting meet or nationals where yeah. people are like fucking not saying you're not strong but there are some yeah. i'm strong in like inter like yeah. regional like just small yeah. region like gym <laughs> okay. standards sure oh no, man sure so, but then like i i also am the only one that trains in powerlifting for the longest so yeah. like in turn like me training these many years yeah made me strong because exactly. i'm consistent i do the same shit every single week you train that way for years for and years you're the only yeah. one who does that here yeah so that's why like, i don't care yeah like if someone like comes up and says like oh yeah like i'm a better bodybuilder and you're like okay yeah because i don't do that yeah. <laughs> or if someone says i'm like i'm a better fighter than you i'm like okay what if they're like i'm a better skater than you Playing skate, <laughs> playing skate, playing skate. That's it. <laughs> that's where. That's where. Because like, you, you got that one op that picked up skating for like what two weeks. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Right? And he gave up. But he's the one get the like uh, uh, the recent subtle jab, man. Yeah, he's the one. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one who's like, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, do you really hit depth if your hamstrings don't touch your calves? Also, my hamstrings did touch my calf. <laughs> my my like, lower hamstring hit I my gas like As far as low bar, you probably go the deepest. Out of everyone, just not by choice because the weight's so fucking heavy. It's not. No, it is right? by choice. Yeah. My depth is by choice. Like, cause all I care about is hip crease below knee. Yeah, cause that's that's what gives uh, three white lights at a meet. But I feel like with it's it's hard to stop higher. No, cause I to feel like with heavier higher? weights, it's it's hard to stop uh, even like above. That. I wouldn't know, cause muscle memory just. You, makes yeah, me exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, cause you have yeah. five hundred something pounds on your back, you just have to get to the the hole and come back up. That's the yeah. only way to get it up. Yeah. I feel like it's even harder if you stop right above parallel. Yeah. And try to I'm just gonna say it. this, you're you hurt yourself more if you quarter squat. Yeah. It's a lot of weight on your knees. Yeah. Like there's this whole yep. distribution thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, if you want a part two, you know, we'll do a part two. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So that that's all that I'm saying. Deep, yeah. But yeah, I don't get this like this whole I, I don't get it either. It's just, it's it's just weird. It's like we we don't it, you're the only one that doesn't get the benefit of this gym positivity around here. 
Because everyone be glazing each other on some dumb shit, yeah. right? But when they look at you, they give you like this. <laughs> dude, <laughs> it's yeah. It's kind of funny, dude. <laughs> Is it because I'm just like doing my own thing? Like, yeah. yeah. I'm friendly to people. Like, I, don't, I don't know. But do you? It's a, like, it's a comparison, I guess. I don't know. I, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. What about the whole, like, I think sometimes there's like imaginary beef. Oh, like all that shit going Yeah, on. yeah. So, like, for example, I, our friend <laughs> thinks that this person's ex glazes me too much where it causes a dr- discrepancy. Dr- it it does, the- though. It Dude, does. I don't think so because we don't know this by context. No, I mean, but like just just the way that you are in the well, gym. Well, she right? reacts to my stories. I don't think it's a romantic thing. That's just stupid. That's just fucking that guy being a dumbass. But yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like in terms of like, because whenever she used to come by, right, and you're doing your power lifts, uh-huh. she was always very impressed by it. Yeah. So he can never measure up to that because that's all, all. That's what she's about. You know, she's all about that uh, lifestyle too. I she's guess. not a power lifter, but she wants to lift very heavy. Yeah. Right. Whereas you know the the, the man's. You never really provided that oh. so like there was always like a measuring stick where he was kind of like i guess so. fuck you you know but I like so. my friend is fucking dumb where he's just like oh yeah he just wants to like fuck you and shit like, i don't think that's that's yeah me that's either just, that's just dude. him, being like, stu- that's just him sure? living vicariously through you because he wants a muscle mommy <laughs> that's facts yeah, that's yeah, facts. yeah. No, 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 you, like you that. never watch us anyway yeah, so you'll never you know <laughs> <laughs> he does it he does it but hey yeah f- fuck you man <laughs> no no this guy's no no, no i'm gonna talk a little bit shit. this guy supports like literally everyone except what we do because <laughs> he would follow these like hella fat people like doing their fitness journey i was like yeah. where's the love bro where's yeah, the love and comments on random yeah because i was like where's the love when this guy lifts or whatever we're, we're like where, where's the yeah where's the support when we post our progression but nah so you want, you want like comments on like some turtles and shit about <laughs> anyways I whatever so. whatever <laughs> whatever but yeah. imaginary beef you know Imagine, yeah yeah i guess the, the, it, it ties into like these people who just find the gym or they, a specific their gym identity, their whole identity that they're like, like this is their domain yeah right? and then if you just i feel like we just do our own shit man yeah we just try to not i'm i yeah. don't even try to get hey, out let to this be floor. your domain like yeah. go <laughs> no i mean i i don't even leave my office at the time because i don't want to be around most yeah. people well, not, also because it stinks and it stinks and it's not air conditioning outside so and because it stinks. And it's really it smells really bad <laughs> it stinks. Yeah. it's one person here yeah, yeah. really stinks doesn't believe in the, dude when he who was in the bathroom last time and then you left what like it an stays. hour it stayed for it a whole stays. hour i had to i remember because i because I, I went pee before i went home and i told you like dude bathroom one is yeah. fucked because it stinks yeah and I think you messaged me like An 30, hour, 40 yeah. minutes later, just like, dude, it still stays. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. Like, love, and we have, they, have, they have the vents going 24-7 yeah. in there. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. But anyways, you know, we hope you enjoyed this random rant of episode 45. <laughs> it was cool. It's a very yeah. interesting topic. Yeah. You know, whatever your core values or whatever you find meaning for your personality and yourself, you know, let us know. You know, put it in the comments below. Just yeah. tell us. You know, we'd like to know. Unless you're a Disney adult, then. No, it's fine. If, if right it's off. Disney, no, if right it's right. sports, <laughs> if it's anime, if it's gaming, gaming. gaming I wish I got skating. into that. It looks really? fun. It looks fun. Really? My friends enjoy it. Like they always have their Friday night. Like they go on PlayStation or I something. I think I'm just not someone that can just. I'm not good at staying still, so I can't really just like play games. But I tried with my client. Did this game drop? Like what? Last thing we're gonna go off tangent about. Mm-hmm. This game dropped like two months ago. Okay. And then like my, some of my clients and my friends are like, oh, we should play it, and then. I bought it. The first time I played it, I fell asleep. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was just like... It was late. I, it was like 10 I get p.m. The, they get I get the entertainment of it, yeah. Because yeah. you spend hours, you're with homies, you got the headset, you're yeah. talking, you're cooperating. Yeah. It seems fun. It, it does seem fun. I wish I could get into it. I just can't. Yeah, it's yeah. not really me, nah, too. That's not my thing. Yeah. yeah. You get really but, fidgety. <laughs> yeah, but if you made it this far, we'd like to thank y'all. You know, keep supporting us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. Tell people about us, man. Yeah. Tell tell uh your world you know if you're your if, if you're in the gym your, your world tribe, be like be like hey like how many sets you got left but you should also check yeah. out this podcast you yeah. know they they talked about the big three yeah. you know tell so. tell your other disney adults like, hey these guys are talking mad shit dude go, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, they, go get, give us an engagement <laughs> yeah, yeah they yeah. hate cinderella yeah. and uh who's like hella popping who's a who's a princess of the frog one that's the uh, new princess right uh, what's her name I, I won't be racist like Tamila or something. Ta- it's also the T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Talapi. <laughs> I was about to say Tiara. Tiara. Oh, oh, is it Tiara? No, I don't think so. It's, it's a- That's how disassociated we are with like Disney stuff. I'm still I'm old school, man. Give me like Toy Story one and two and three, maybe. You know? Yeah. 
So like, I'm I'm more old. Tiana. School. Tiana. See? Close. 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 Yeah. I just have to complete the letter. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All but right. yeah, uh, follow us on all social media plat- uh, platforms at Short King Stock Everything. Links are in the description below. Do you have any last words? No. It's really? an hour and we're off the clock. There we go. <laughs> Kanye, drop Walters. Yeah, please, dude. Kanye, Drake. <laughs> Someone. Drake? <laughs> Drake? <laughs>